Hello traders out there in trader land. My name's Dez here at Grok Trade and it's Wednesday, May 4th, 2011 and the bears still in control. We have the Dow down 0.66%, the S&P down 0.69%, NASDAQ down 0.47%. Russell's take another big dive. We have Russell's down 1.29%, banks down almost a full percent, a little bit of a pop here in the VIX, not too much, 2.3% upside. Gold, silver taking it on the chin, dollar down the smidgen, crude oil also down 1.86%, and a sizable pullback here on the transportation index, weighting down the Dow. So that's where we're at. Looking here at the S&P daily, had this big run up. We had a thrusting pattern. We had a drop, and we continue with the drop. We have lower highs, lower lows, and we continue southbound. We did find a little support here at the 11 EMA moving average. Also a big trend line that comes in. And I thickened it up a little bit, but it's been on my chart. But I want you to see it. This goes back 2010. December and comes up here into January 2011 comes across and this is where we're at right now we did test this area 1330 or 43 1343 we got as low as 1341 that was a very crucial area that it needed to find support we're watching that very closely it did rally up just a smidgen but gang um Bears are in control right now. We are rolling over. The question is, will we find some support at this trend line? If so, we could get a little reversal pattern going into Friday's report, which Friday pre-market, we have the big unemployment rate coming out. That's huge. ADP today came out. We did see a, an increase in payroll. However, it fell way short of what uh, analysts thought that number should have been. So that played havoc on the markets, and it'd be interesting to see what this number will be Friday morning. All eyes will be on that. If I bring in a weekly chart here, um, if the week were to end right now, we would have what's called a dark cloud cover reversal pattern. And that's pretty bearish. So um, it'll be really interesting by end of day Friday to see what type of pattern that we have here. And since um, gold, let's look at GLD real quick. GLD had this nice run and it just has this big pullback. Today was a sizable drop. And as a technician, I don't like these candlesticks to be this large. I want them decreasing in in trading range size as they make their descent or they do their pullback. So that happening on big volume just is is not great. It's not a very pretty pullback. Um, SLW, silver continues down. However, with silver um, on SLD, uh, silver Wheaton here, we do have, let's see here, it's a piercing pattern, reversal pattern. So be watching for a bounce there. SLV, because silver has been very hot here. This is ETF. It has just crashed and burned on increased volume. We're at the 50 day, so you could find some. Um, some support there. I've been in uh, ZSL, which is the inverse ultra silver, and I just saw a falling wedge when it broke the falling wedge. We wanted a piece of that, and we're rising on significant volume. So um, that's good to see. And let's also take a look at crude oil. Gas has been huge in the markets, but anyway, we got this double top. We are breaking down. We did break a, a, a big trend line here. I want you to see that. So today, we really broke that in the 20-day moving average. So um, oil's in a lot of trouble right now. We did have a rising wedge. So anyway, be watching that. It doesn't play too much on the gas. A lot of people want to blame crude oil and, and speculators uh, for gas prices, but it's it's the devaluing of the U.S. dollar. You know the TARP stimulus, the QE 
on one QB2. Uh, that is what's killing us at the gas pumps. So anyway, um, oh, for all you gra graduates out there, um, I did have a student who was not on the email list from back in in late 2009. And uh, he missed out on the day trading market internals cheat sheet that I put together and it's been updated. So if I missed any of my students, please contact me. Uh, des at groctrade.com and I'll make sure that you get on the list so you don't miss out on any of the this these tools and and emails and the follow-ups that we do each week you know to keep you sharp so there you have it take care everybody safe trading and we'll catch you tomorrow here in the markets <laughs>